Do you remember the spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z? Man, Charizard, you became a charred lizard. Okay. Hello, Wonder Girls and Friendships. Welcome back to my kitchen. On today's menu, I'll be serving you an Armor Rouge deck. Pause the video if you need, move on after a good read. So how did Mega Man do a Mega Bam? Well, Scorching Bazooka does 40 more damage for every fire energy attached to Armor Rouge. But how do you get that many fire energies? We're going to use the Charred Lizard's ability, Infernal Rain. When you evolve this, look for three energies in your deck and shove them onto your Pokemon. Now be careful because Charizard DX is your real core of the deck. Yeah, look at this energy cost. Only two energies. That's better than some big gas-eating Armor Rouge. So stick with Charizard and fight until you can get Armor Rouge set up. So how are you moving those energies? We got Mini Man. Ability Fire Off. Move as many fire energies to your active Pokemon as often as you like. Add in a Magma Basin, and now you get an extra fire energy from your discard onto your bench Pokemon. You take 20 damage though. Finally, we got Baby Zard, whose ability turns all your fire energies into two fire energies, and that lets you get those nice big numbers. Your main draw ability is Mew, because you have no time to evolve any other Pokemon other than Charizard and Armor Rouge. Now in casuals, I was able to reach 600 damage three times. The first time, despite my opponent having 15 cards in his hands, I think he had a really bad prize because he could not evolve that back scalar. So before we were able to do 600 damage, yeah. Armor Rouge versus Darkrai V-Star. This guy landed the perfect combo, reaching insane amount of damage, one-shotting all my Pokemon, and unfortunately we couldn't keep up. Do you want to see the Charizard match you saw in the intro? That's the first match. Finally, we'll go against a different Chi and Pal match. That's the second match. Check out my covers on Spotify, and you can use them too, whenever you like. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't, because I mean all in your day makes your life more vibrant. Thank you very much for visiting me today. We'll begin the matches after this Smith Bros. Charizard versus, well, Charizard, Armor Rouge. All right, so welcome to the first match. I'm going to play my cover. This is going to be Cannonball from not Dragon Ball Super. It's from Mega Man. Because, you know, the character looks like a Mega Man character. Totally fits the theme. Okay, so what do you call that? We both start off with our both draw Pokemons. Hey, I got a Mew and you get the better draw supporter. Was a draw Pokemon. It's Sushi Master 2.0. Now he's starting off with Charmander and he can rare candy into battle, which would be very, 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 very bad for me here. So what are we gonna do? Oh, I still have the fish there. The fish is pretty good here. The reason uh, that back basculine, yeah. Oh man, I took him out and I had put Char Radiant Charizard in because Radiant Charizard is a nice and good uh, end game here. But the fish works too. I think, I think, I think, yeah, with the Radiant Charizard, it's like, Donald, how can you not have him on the deck? Well, that's why I took it out and uh, took out the fish out. You see, this fish isn't too bad, but my hand was really good this time. I filled up my entire bench without the fish, so that that's part of that, too. Other times, not so much. Okay, so... We actually have the rare candy and Charizard combo, too. But I'm, I really want to lose Basquiat. Take the first prize for me. Get rid of that fish. It's a waste of bench space afterwards. And supposed to die when you go second. Supposed to. All right, so he's got three Charmander stuff. He's got one Charmeleon, so Charizard's looking imminent on the other side. Ooh, look at that big draw supporter. Okay, let me see, Charizard. I mean, you got, you're coming here, man. Ooh, he did not pull any Ultra Balls. No Charizards. We got lucky there, man. We got lucky. So, I'm looking through here. So what do I keep? I don't have any other draw supporters. And the, but I also need more Pokemon, so that's why I went. I don't. I think I took that uh, fourth rare candy instead of that there. The reason I would put ahead of fourth rare candy in instead of the the thing I just used, the Aroma, is because I really want that rare candy Charizard combo. That thing is your big opener here. And we throw away Mana because hey man, Charizard don't be bench sniping. It might. It might. Some people they put Del Fox in, but I don't think he's got Del Fox. So we're gonna get that other combo. Now we can attack. And then I'm being a little lenient here. He puts thumbs up. I could put the retreat up. 
But I'm gonna be leaving it. I'm thinking, man, kill my fish. Just take care of my fish so I can get rid of my, uh, get rid of the bench space. I'm okay being behind because we got nice one shot potential. And he put thumbs up to me. It's like, hey man, you get your charge up first. I was like, okay, you know what? I'll thumbs up back. Yeah, I did. Please get rid of masculine. You can kind of see why I got rid of it and got ready a Charizard in the actual deck list right here. All right. And there is this Charizard. We know what's coming to battle. It's like, man, you forgot this trick. You should post to charge up your front Pokemon, give it a free retreat home, and then once he evolves the uh, Sushi Master 2.0, Oh, he's got a switch or an escape rope. Oh, it's the freaking escape rope. So then what do I give up here, man? See, now this bat you don't have much space for Basculin. I'm gonna send out the big tough guy in. This guy has got crimson armor. And crimson armor makes it very tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of here. Nobody's taking any prize cards. But if you got the damage reduction, we'll take it here. Yeah, Donald, you didn't even talk about the damage reduction in the intro. See you know how he only does 110? Yeah, that's the 80 damage shielding I have. Alright, he's all he's got a vitality band, so he's actually doing a 200 190 damage. Okay. Now, which draw supporter? You got three draw supporters. You know what? I wanna keep those nice ladies there. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we're gonna keep our techs here. I think I really should have kept that Charmander, man, but I threw it off. So there's only two Charizards I can fight. That kind of sucks. A one Charizard that can fight. Da -da 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 -da. So it means I cannot get the Dark Charizard. That's what I'm saying here. All right, so I know I don't have enough energies to take it out. Or maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Enough. Five energies. Five. That's... No, it's not enough. It's high. It's very high. But you know what? We're just going to attack it. We know we're going to die with this. So we're just attacking. Weaken it up so my big Charizard... The doll's hesitating, guys. like... If I lose Armor Rouge, will Charizard have enough damage? And the answer is yes. But the mental math is going through my head right now. Ooh, yeah, 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 that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Boom, we head back. Alrighty then. Yeah, there we go. Basculin. Wish you were a radiant. Okay, we'll talk about it. No more, we're gonna leave it there. You know, you see I got the Super Rod in hand. Once I lose this Armor Rouge, we're gonna recycle it and put it back into the field. Yeah, he's got to worry about getting in. He does not have anything else. That is a very brick tan there. So I should not play Iono. Maybe I should. Maybe he got, he's got he got six cards in his hand now. And Donald has two of the, the, the support Charizards. I was like, you don't need two of the support Charizards. You need to focus on the big dark one because that one fights. That one's reliable. That one holds your deck together. It's your glue. It's your super glue. You know what? I decide. Yeah, you took four prize cards. I get full six. Keep them at a four prize. I, we have a big difference of prize cards. I mean, uh, cards in our hands here. <laughs> Armor Rouge, despite dying, the whole guy just came back into my hand. He really wants revenge on Charizard here. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. All right, you know, now, now I'm, we're even in prize cards. Let's see if he has anything to fight with here. Oh man, that sushi bastard back there, man, it really wants to evolve. Big time, big time. Then this card flow will keep going. I just, just hate it when that happens. Now why don't you put sushi bastard in your deck? We just don't have deck space. We don't want to evolve three different uh, two evolution lines. Go with Charizard, go with Armor Rouge, that's all good. I like how Pokemon's been making cards that involve uh, multiple elevations for a single line. Charmander can become like three different Charizards right now, or four. Three? Three, three, okay. Or could be four. Alrighty then. Charmeleon it is. We're gonna have Armor Rouge right ready to go. Gonna go ahead and push this down. I should not charge up my Armor Rouge EX. Well, the reason I shouldn't do that is because the ability, if it's hurt, the ability shuts off completely. So you don't want to do that right there. Alrighty then. So we took a free prize because he was not able to evolve and attack. Okay. Counter catch is a mixed bag. 
Yeah, if you're behind, counter catcher is really good. But if you're not behind, you're ahead. Counter catcher becomes the dead card. I think is it, is it better than um, boss? Only when you're losing, of course. That's how the card was designed. But deck space wise, it's hard. It's hard to ask if I want two bosses or I want uh, two counter catchers here. So now I'm seeing a big Charizard coming. I'm kind of worried. If you did a little bit more damage, that Radiant Charizard, his Radiant Charizard, would kick my butt right. Ooh, two turns where he had to sacrifice and just drop a uh, prize here. So he plays like, oh, I know, man. That that hurts. That hurts. I feel ya. It is what it is. Okay, we're, here we're holding bosses. We're holding plenty of energies. A bench is filled up with not nice stuff. So let's see what he has here. So right now he has very close to one hit potential on his own Charizard. Remember, we do not have any other Charizards to fight with. However, I have Armor Rouge, both Armor Rouges on the field, and I have the XP share. So I know I got enough damage. And look at that Charmeleon. It is just wanting to be the new Char- I'm sorry, the, the Charizard that doubles all your energy. There is Charizard coming in, he, and he is here for revenge. So I'm like, oh, dang. Okay. It's ready to fight me. It's ready to destroy. All right. So let's see. Let's see what he's got here. Can he switch in? He can switch in. He can take a prize card and close, uh, close the gap there for his big ear. If not, he just has to attack with a Radiant Charizard. He actually has the freaking switch and deletes my Charizard's revenge. Like, not this time, buddy. 300 damage. Alrighty then. But Arm Rouge cannot go down to Charizard in one shot because of its ability right there. Charizard cannot get enough damage. It's okay. So, we know we have Game Ear. We know we have Game Ear. But, you know, just out of a habit, send you out your free retreat. Then I'm going to go ahead and. Donald, Donald needs a big, Donald needs a big, uh, damage for, for the intro of the video. So here I am, finding that Charizard. And then we're gonna move up Armor Rouge here. Move all the energies quickly on. Here we go. Three energies. Four energies, five, six, seven, eight. Evolve that Charizard. Now you see what you saw in the intro. This is the intro here. 680 damage. There is that. GG. Alrighty then. There we go. Armor Rouge versus Chin Pao. Not the one you saw in the intro, though. This is a different Chin Pao match. Where I am weak to water. Or at least Armor Rouge is weak to water. Not Charizard. I like how they balance each other out. Alright, let's go and play my cover. This is going to be X versus Zero. Also from Mega Man and not Dragon Ball. Yeah, there's no balls in the title letter title to, to mess you up here. All right, so this time we get to go first again. And then I, I know what you are, man. I was like, I, I want mana fee, but I also want to be greedy because there's just a lot of evolutions you want to evolve here. That's why the fish was here. I think he still is in, the, in this, this version of the deck. But somehow he's like, I can't, I can't afford to not have Radiant Charizard in. Yeah, I can't. Radiant Charizard tra tra trades really well with Chip out here. So. I decided to slow him down because if I put out the put that card out front, yeah, it's gonna be hard for him to get energies and start up. Yep. Ooh, we got the back Scalibur in hand, but I don't have a rare candy here. This is a little tricky, but I do have Charmeleon though. Charmeleon ain't too bad. Charmeleon's great. All right, gonna smack me. Not gonna retreat. Not going to retreat at all, which is gonna. I think I'm, I'm, I, I think that actually has two retreat costs here. Okay, so Donald, we want to pull something here, man. Do we want to evolve? Do we want to grab more bench Pokemon? I like, I want to evolve. That's just a weird choice here. All right, then. So we are going to evolve. We know we have Char... What? Charizard up here. The told you. He is the... He's the core. He is the core. Dang. Okay, capturing aroma use is rare candy now. I have four rare candies. Got to get all those candies to get that sweet Charizard turn one, turn two thing over here. All right, this time I'm going to be safe. I know that deck probably has a Greninja. So we're going to go ahead and drop it down ahead of time here. All right, now I I'm feeling I want to play cautious here. I don't want to lose my Mew, so I'll give him a Charmander instead. I feel like he can go get going after this. There it is. We know that was going to come down. 
There we go, back Scalper coming in, so gonna use that as a retreat and send out Chin Pao. Very luckily, usually those uh, Chin Pao decks are very consistent. I know, uh, when I was not playing videos and I was still grinding my account, Chin Pao is one of my best decks. I think it still is one of my best decks. I don't know how it's uh, changed with the new meta here. All right, bye, Chimander. Dead. Oh, but that's why I switched in. Uh, actually, if I kept Mua, I probably would have been safe. But with Backscalibur, you don't want to risk it here. You don't want to risk it here. Okay, man. Ooh, let's get draw two here. Okay. And then we do this for three cards. What do we want? We don't have a draw supporter next turn. So let's grab that. And I kind of want my counter catcher. You see why I want the counter catcher? Because I can get killed with Backscalibur. That is big. So counter catcher this time is a winner here, big time. I got to play a draw supporter. And I get to go fish for the back Backscalibur, and that cripples him. Without Backscalibur, that really hurts here. So even in prize card, but Charizard is just more self-sufficient. Backscalibur is like, guys, I need help. I'm sorry, Chin Pounds is that. So I know I'm having, I'm gonna have a decent time here. Until another one of those other cards show up, I'm gonna be in trouble here. So let's see what it comes through. He got nothing here, but I don't have enough damage to take him out yet. I'm sorry, man. You know what? That was a bad hand. I'm gonna be a little nice to him. I know I already burnt up a rare candy. I don't think you need all those here. Really? Not all that card? Instead of Charizard? Ah, yeah. Charizard's your core, man. Let's go ahead and give him a big shuffle here. That he's probably gonna get something to fight with soon. That, that don't, why are you helping your opponent out? I I empathize with getting stuck when you don't got, don't got nothing. A very consistent deck shouldn't be brooking like that. So we're gonna help him out with uh, Iono, which we did, and then hopefully he can pull something up to fight with and keep him alive in the game here. You know, one side of matches aren't aren't too fun here. So let's see what he's got. Okay, they're of all Pokemon's. Oh, the Pidgeot version. Pidgeot's a very good draw supporter. It's stage two, which is why it's not so popular, but it does fit in stage two decks. But I thought about putting Pidgeot in this deck too, but you can't have too many evolutions uh, because you're focusing on any involving one or two. And then we already have two already. We can't focus on evolving anymore, especially multiple Charizards. You just don't have time. I'm all right. Uh, what's that card? Palkia, that's not a bad one. We're gonna help him out again, and we're just gonna go and draw all here. Oh, I hit a bad one here. I got too many few nest balls too late here, so let's go ahead and grab out that Charizard. So, if I pull Rare Candy, I want the Armor Rich here. Alright. Now, Char Charizard is wounded, and there's not another Charizard ready to go. You can see there is the support Charizard there. So, I'm gonna about to run a little bit low on gas here. Can he evolve? Ooh, he actually has a rare candy. Oh, I oh no, and into uh, Pidgeot. I can see why this deck is uh, pretty good here. Yeah, I like that. Maybe I should try that. One Pidgeot line, and then maybe a Mew or something here. We'll see. We'll see. I like the Pidgeot combo with uh, Chin Pao. That's what I want to say. Alrighty then, down goes Charizard, that has no other Charizard here. Who do we have to fight with? I'm weak to water. I am weak to water. What do we do, Donald? What do we do? Okay, so let's see what else we got here. We got Thunder Armor Rouge, as well as Mela. Great! Okay. So now I'm gonna rare cannon in the big char. I'm sorry, the support Charizard. You know, big Charizard. You're small. All right. So potentially I could have got 300 damage worth of damage here, but I'm not gonna do that because I need to. Uh, I need to save for the Chien Pao. So this is why. Yes, I definitely could have really exploded damage, but. I'm just gonna conserve. I need to make sure that the next Armor Rouge has enough energy to deal with uh, what's coming out here. So we're just gonna do 280. We are weakness to water, we're just gonna deal with that. So this is the third time we've reached 600 damage, potentially. 
potentially. But in order to win, okay, we got it. Uh, we know you have to save energies for this fight. Uh, Armor Rouge is gonna die one shot. He's gonna take it out, close the game, close the prize difference. So it's a one to one. And then here we go. Three energies is just enough. Now I'm sending. I already know perfectly in my hand. I've got Armor Rouge in my hand. The, I don't know. I'm okay. I, I know. I see why I'm doing this. I know I want, but I want to use Mela and just show you guys what it looks like. I mean, nobody, nobody seen Mela been play before. Okay, let's evolve this. Let's do Mela for one fine energy. Yeah, get a whole new hand there. She's pretty good. We, I don't have, never had footage of that to show you. So at least if you guys made it to this point in the video, you got to see Mela be played there. All right, that should be in the intro. Okay, so we're gonna take it out here. 360 damage. GG. Alrighty then. <laughs> Radio Charizard on that. GG. Donald, how do you honestly feel about the competitive value of this deck? I'm giving this deck a B minus. And the reason I'm giving it at least a B is because Charizard is carrying it. Charizard, as soon as it evolves, you get a powerful media attacker and it's good to go. And there are two Charizard EX ready to carry you to the finish line. And this is why it can't go lower than a B. That's Charizard there. Now, there are too many evolutions here. You can see there's not enough deck space to put in a uh, Bibero. So you're trying to evolve many Pokemon and that always slows a deck down. But one of them is Charizard, so it's okay. But Armor Rouge combo is kind of slow to get going. Okay, so I recommend that you stay in casuals. Uh, don't send this in rank if you're trying to win rank. I mean, yeah, rank score where you're trying to unlock those new uh, deck skins and stuff. Mm. Use something else with a higher consistency. But this is fun to do casuals though. Yeah, do something with your armor rouge deck. All right, so, okay. I don't know how many of you guys make it here, but next Monday I'm doing Espatra, okay? I don't know how many times I've had to release the deck video right after LDF because we do do it on the same day. But on Monday, I am doing Espatra. So if he also happens to do Espatra, then just because of this, then that's that, 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 that. Okay, so uh, that, that is the, not this Espatra, the new Espatra. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, this one's cool. Okay, so that is that for now. Thank you, all the girls from Rancho's. Take it easy, stay safe. And I'm going to see you guys next Monday. Bye-bye.